There we go. The edge. It looks like a book. It looks like uh, some sort of um, medieval kind of decoration. So it kind of looks. I still wonder why they put Panama. Might as well just be a, like a Honduras cigar. I don't know. Basically, say 20th anniversary. There's a thing going on for this one. It looks like a book. It looks like a book binding. You know, like if you had a book like this, like that book binding. So. Ow! Every single day I'm gonna make Something great That's my way Every single day I'm gonna make Something great That's my That's my way Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sauce Assassin. Welcome to another cigar review where I smoke it. You probably don't have to. So, today we have the Rocky Patel The Edge 20th anniversary version. Because there's uh, also other edge. So, I don't know which edge is for. So, yeah. So, this particular one is uh, MSRP $12 ish. Yep, twelve dollars. This is the Toro size six by fifty two. It looks kind of thin, but it is six by fifty two. And the wrapper is Ecuadorian Sumatra. Binder is Honduras Habano. And filler is Honduras and Panama. So interesting combination. But I'm kind of skeptical. But at the same time. You know, it's got Honduras tobacco, so I'm looking to be something sweet, something that I could enjoy. So, you know, the the, the wrapper basically have no smell. Here's the bottom band. Basically, it's a 20th anniversary. There's a thing going on for this one. It looks like a book. It looks like a book binding. You know, like if you had a book like this, like that book binding. So. All right, so let's see what we can get out of this. This Rocky Patel. I, I don't usually smoke Rocky Patels, so that's a problem, you know? As soon as I do a dry draw, mm, there was a taste. I was about to taste like some sort of wood, some sort of like old leathery or damp taste, and then it disappeared. All right, fine. We'll light it up. We'll light it up. Come on. The draw is not as optimal as I like it, but there is some draw. And today, Honduras coffee. Let's go. A lot of smoke output. Pepper. Raw peanut skin. The shell. The like, yeah. If you actually eat some shell of the peanut, that's how it tastes like. Pepper, like chili pepper.
There's a little bit of bitterness and then some sort of cocoa. And some sort of leatheriness. Mm. Earthy, too. There's a little bit earthiness to it, too. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. So let me smoke one third and we'll come back to this thing. Hopefully, it gives us something. Interesting because right now I still wonder why they put Panama. Might as well just be a, like a Honduras cigar. I don't know. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so burn funny, really weird. I probably had to adjust this. Uh, it tastes kind of like uh, like some sort of semi sweet chocolate at parts. And you get a little bit of woody bitterness to it here and there. And there, other than that, there's not much going on. Ow! Oh, that hurt. Oh, shit. Yeah, ass drop, and I freaking tried to dodge it, and I kicked my table. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> Ow. All right, Rocky Patel, I don't like you. <sighs> yep. Yeah. And a little bit of coffee, too. Oh, my leg. Yeah. Well, first third. Tastes like pain. <laughs> Tastes like pain. Oh, that hurt. So, yeah, let's see what second third brings me. Hopefully not pain. Oh, that really hurt. Uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Oh, my God. Oof. All right. Second third is finished. Rocky Patel. So, guy's boring. It does taste kind of like... Uh, like the shell of the peanut and a um, little bit of cocoa and coffee. But there's not a lot. It's it's a medium plus strength cigar. But there's not a lot going on other than that three flavors. Is the flavor pleasant? Yes. It's a little bit pe pepper too. It's a, the flavor is okay, but it's kind of boring, you know? As you smoke it, it's just like you feel like nothing's going on really. There's no transition. The flavor doesn't ramp up. It doesn't have anything interesting. It's kind of boring. I... I, I like the, the decoration. That's pretty much it. Here, let's take off the band and take a look at it. There we go. The edge. It looks like a book. It looks like uh, some sort of... Um, medieval kind of decoration. So it kind of looks nice. But that's pretty much it. You know... 20th anniversary. Well, if you dig, it's. I want to say it's decked out, but it's not really decked out. <laughs> so, yeah, there's nothing too interesting about the cigar right now. A uh, $12, it's not very expensive either, but I think for me, um, right now it's probably a seven buck cigar, $7. Seven dollars. So yeah, last third. Hopefully it gets a little bit better, so we can get to the eight dollar range. <laughs> because this, it, it tastes like a really nicely put together budget cigar, really. But I, I don't, I don't see, I don't see this being really good. All right, be right back. All right, I am done with the cigar. I'm kind of glad I'm done because it's kind of boring. At the end, pepper kind of ramped up a little bit. 
uh, all the nice sweetness and all that stuff kind of just die down. And you get this, um, I don't want to say it's barnyard, but it's some sort of weird taste to it. It's not that pleasant. So at the end, this cigar is a $7 cigar, if not $6.50 to me. So I don't recommend it. I don't I don't think this is a, a cigar that I would recommend to people. It's just, I've had better budget cigar than this, especially at $12. So don't recommend it. It is what it is. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of good uh, experience with most Rocky Patels. And I can tell you for sure, my favorite Rocky Patel is the original um, Filthy Viking. And that one, I will smoke it any day. If they, they release it again with Rocky Patel, same blend, same taste, I will smoke that all day. So this one, not what I like. It doesn't give uh, the characteristic that should be for Honduras tobacco either. Uh, the sweetness, the sweet cedar is nowhere to be found. So I would not recommend this. That I don't know why it tastes like that. So could be that whatever tobacco they put in there. Like what the Panama? Oh, I can't remember what that what it was. I don't have the data in front of me. So I definitely don't recommend it. Skip this. All right. Yeah, that's it for this cigar review. I hope you like it. Make sure to uh, subscribe, like, and um, share, comment. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.